Happy Monday, everybody. This is Kendra, and for my West Coast peeps, you're waking up on the morning of my birthday. And I'm starting to get a lot of awesome messages, so thank you guys so much for reaching out and connecting. I had a great birthday celebration yesterday with my crew here with, from Hacker Paradise. Um, we went on a wine tram tour to, into the wine country, which is about an hour away from here. And it was a combination of bus, trolley things, and trains, and wineries, and so much food, and again, so much wine, and <laughs> more food. And it was really awesome, and just had a great moment at lunchtime, looking around at all my new friends, and, you know, just reflecting on where I was last year. I was in Cabo, which I put on my post, if you saw my last photo post. And I uh, decided to go ahead and get myself out on the road and leave my apartment in San Francisco. So it's been a really big year um, last year, and I'm excited for next year. I have lots of options, but no concrete plan. Um, but just having between the two locations of Croatia and South Africa, there's probably a good 40 new people that I have um, some level of friendship with, and it's really building a nice global network and really learning from people with all sorts of different backgrounds and different jobs and basically how, how and why people are out on the road being digital nomads and so really giving me a lot to think about and um, shaping the choices that I'm gonna be making for me, for myself next year. Um, so I did, I wanted to use this time, seems like a little funny time to bring this up, but not really. Um, part of the advantage and one thing my dad said when I was telling him about some things that I was learning in Croatia is that the cultural exchange and the cultural knowledge and growth is probably the best part of international travel. And I've said, and I kind of have this idea for a nonprofit, which I'll explore more later, but really getting people, especially young people out into the world and learning about different perspectives, philosophies, histories, um, experiences that shape whole entire countries. And uh, so as a result, last Tuesday night at our potluck, um, one of the women in our group is an interpreter and she was talking about some of her experiences working with the Romani population, which is the root of the gypsy term. And I have had uh, a few people um, give me a little pushback and be surprised when I was using my branding idea of Gypsy with an Income. Um, and now knowing what I do, uh, uh, knowing what I have learned and what I, there's more to explore with that, but I'm, I'm removing that now from my branding. Um, in America and the people that I, when I came up with the idea last year, said it's brilliant, it's such a good idea. <laughs> and from an American general perspective, gypsy term is thought of as a wandering soul and um, free spirit, being a nomad. And in reality, the term comes from a history of Romani people uh, and there's a lot of racism and sexism, and I just learned that I think 70 to 80 percent of their population was um, uh, killed in the Holocaust, which I had no idea. And um, so it's never been my intention to offend any group. And because I was kind of more in that American, you know, mindset, and just that that's I didn't know um, as much about it, um, and I can't, I'm not even super great at articulating it yet, but. Um, in America and, and the world, being sensitive to discrimination and uh, racism and all the isms right now, it's all, always important, but it's just especially in our face with um, all of the traumas that are happening out in the world. So uh, as I was sitting there listening to her share her stories, and she had helped interpret and had some really um, – really upsetting and um, more than upsetting. Uh, she said she was losing sleep after trying to help these women wanting to know what had happened to them. And I said, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel like this is almost like using the N word. And she said, yeah. And I thought, holy shit, um, that has never 
some so an image that I want to portray or, or anything like that. So that is the reason that I will no longer be using that. I'm going to eliminate it from everything that I've put as much as I can, at least in text. Um, maybe I'll have some lingering videos out there that reference that, but just know that I'm learning and evolving and um, becoming more and more of a citizen of the world, which is really at the root of well, it's, 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 a, it's an important aspect to me, and I think as I want to inspire and uplift people, and I, can, I do that through nutrition, and I'm also doing that through helping other people learn to do what I do and use the tools that I do um, to have an experience like this or any type of experience that people want to break, break the norm. Um, so anyway, so that's... That's kind of my, my latest reflection and realization, and I'm super grateful for that and humbled because it's very embarrassing now that I've put all this stuff out here for the past year and, and you know, without knowing um, really exactly what I was doing. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I'd love to have any more dialogue with that if you guys have any further insight. Um, one thing I wanted to comment for um, keeping up on my stories and information is to make sure and follow me. So you might be friends with me, but if you go onto my profile, you can click follow, and that means that you'll see my updates and my stories because I put a lot of the day-to-day -day fun adventures in there. I don't necessarily put them in all my main posts. So, so happy to be talking to you here from South Africa. I'm excited to see where I'm going to be going next year and where I will have my next birthday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.